Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this really, really cool new outfit in Watch Dogs 2 called the Shuffler. If you haven't heard it and haven't seen a tutorial, well, here it is. Basically what it is, is it's like this outfit, but it gives you like demonic powers almost. Where like when you melee, instead of using your, I don't know what it's called, the, I, like the yo-yo or whatever, uh, you like use your powers and like crushes them and everything. It's really, really cool, really weird, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get it. So first of all, you need to go ahead and come over here on the map, right down here, right by Noodle Park. There is a restricted area there, but the part you need to get in is not in the restricted area. It's right there. And there's this cart. It says like moss on it, it's yellow. But what you want to do is you use your net hack. And you need to do this, this is essential. And there's going to be a marking right here. Now, I want you guys to look at this. If you're doing the tutorial, this mark will not be the same for you. Each person has a different mark here. Unless on that slight chance, because there's only a certain amount of marks that you do end up having the same one. But you need to memorize these, because these will be very important later on. And then you can take out your camera and you take a picture of these marks. But there is audio that I'll let you guys listen to. It was in my head. In my ears, like, like little insect legs shuffling around. I tried everything. Flush them out with water. I, I, I stuck Q tips as far in as I could. The doctor told me I had damaged my own eardrums, but the noise kept getting louder and louder. That is something else. I have not heard that yet. I just knew there was audio. Whoa, this is Shuffler territory? Right. you ever hear of any symbols associated with the Shuffler legend? Yeah. Weird patterns. Alien geometry. Grids and webs that don't make any sense. Yep, we definitely have some of that here. What's a Shuffler? Urban legend. A creepy one. Mm -hmm. Story goes, if you try to make sense of it, I'd end up in an asylum just drawing that shit up on the walls with no idea why or what it even is. Well. Mm, man. I was there once. And it was trippy. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Looking through the dead sec channel. Other people are finding these too. Let me just compare yours with the others. Okay? It's a hoax. What? Why? It looks like an alphabet number swap too easy and maybe they wanted the message to be clear so why not just write it in english could be about getting you to just read the symbols maybe that's how they get into your head and drive you insane not funny see if you can find some more and i can complete the alphabet cipher count on it. oops i'm gonna go find them. good just keep an eye out for shufflers all right so we are all the way over in oakland the next place is right here on the map you can just teleport to this little restaurant and walk around here or drive or whatever and there's this little brown shack and as you can see nothing there but what you need to do is you get you can get out your IED you can run into it with a car or whatever and you just blow that up and behind it there is a symbol and once again remember these symbols they're always going to be different for whoever and then go ahead and take a picture and we get some more commentary from our friends and whoever this mystery person is. Ooh. That is something else. It's like a horror movie in Watch Dogs 2. Guys, I found another symbol. This is so fucking weird <laughs> and amazing. Where did the Shuffler story come from? Old Bay Area legend about this creature that kind of lives between worlds. In the cracks, 
Sometimes you can hear it shuffling inside the walls, or maybe on the other side of the fence. The way my dad told it, the thing really likes trains, too. You know, back in the glory days of the railroad, one car hopper had to stay awake while the other slept, listening for that shuffling noise. A lot of disappearances That's creepy. back then. Right on those tracks. Well, I mean, the equipment has been replaced over the past century. They say bloodstained wood softens. It'll never support a rail as well as it did before. Mm, stop. Stop. Any luck on the decoding, Josh? <laughs> I've got about one third of it. I'll need some more samples. Okay. All right. So we're here. We're still in Oakland. And we come all the way down right here. And there are some train tracks. And you got to go inside of these train tracks over here. And there should be those boxes over there. And there's our symbol right there. Once again, memorize it, look over it, all the good stuff. And take a picture. And I'll let you guys listen. Jeez. Okay, well that one was definitely creepier than the last two. Sending another shuffler symbol your way. I hope we're getting close. You guys are kidding, right? There's no such thing as a shuffler. Probably not, but there have been a few hundred disappearances linked to it. Some kids came out here to film a shuffler documentary. All they found were four weird little audio tapes. What was on them? Nobody knows. Police have kept the shuffler tapes locked up. Of course, they deny any tapes exist. They exist. I've heard some of them, but I don't have the set yet. You're just messing with us. Nope. They are real, and goddamn are they creepy. Either these kids are running a brilliant hoax, or something really bad happened to them. Okay. I'm going back to coding now. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. And this is where it is on the map. We are back on the main area of California. We're in a cemetery. So you come past this circle, and it is this one right here. The second row past the circle. And once again, remember what symbol you have on there, and get the picture. Richard and Penny are both gone now. And I am too. Yes. the shuffler tapes what oh you kidding me nope some weird ass shit on these i don't want to freak anybody out but i just heard something that sounded a lot like shuffling no 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 i can't hear you no 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 you guys seriously don't hear that it's so loud back in the 60s the government was experimenting with mass hysteria turns out certain concepts certain words spread faster than others mm. and they thought they could induce Paranoia, suicidal thoughts in the enemy's ranks. And reality TV was born. <sighs> you guys suck. What now? I think I've got the cipher done, but where's the message? I feel like we're missing a piece of the puzzle. There's got to be something out there. Okay, so we are back at the hacker space, and we're at Josh's station right here. He, after finished coding everything he's got a list of what all the symbols mean and you're just gonna want to look at those numbers at the bottom because that's only gonna be where your symbols are and whatever those symbols mean are the numbers that's gonna be the time you need to show up at the next location if it's past 12 o'clock then that's gonna be it's gonna be like military time so it'll be in p.m. 
and yeah, and then you want to go over to the couch area and rest and set the alarm to whatever time you need. All right, so we're here at this location, which is where you're going to be doing your final step once you find out what time your thing needs to be done. And it is right here on the map. You zoom in right there. And basically, that circle at the bottom left of my screen, it's this far left. There's a wall over there that looks like it, and a wall over here. I already did this, so I already got the time right. What you want to do is you pull out your camera. And you're going to take a selfie with it. Or you're going to wait for your time to come up and have this open. As soon as the time happens, it'll make a noise. And then you take the picture and this blood stain will appear. But that's basically all you need to do. And then you just go up and interact with it. We get this little cutscene. And there you go. That's all you need to do. It wasn't it's like, real. It's like an it hour later. Be. And now on the map, you see this. There's a little thing on the map. Let's see what the icon looks like. Marcus, did you find anything? No, nothing. So it was all a hoax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's just a little clothing. That's area. a shame. But I'm glad it's not real. Yeah. And yeah. Now you have the shuffler outfit. So I'll go ahead and put it on, and I'll see you guys in a second with some gameplay. Alright, so I started some trouble, got some gang members, so let's go ahead and try it out on this guy. Okay, there. <laughs> That's what it does. It's so cool. It, like, cracks her bones up and stuff. It's really kind of gross-sounding, but it's cool at the same time. Now, it doesn't work every time for some reason. It doesn't work on civilians, and s there's that occasional chance that it doesn't work. Uh, but the outfit consists of, it's got something for every piece of clothing except for sunglasses, and it gives you the option, it gives you the new option of going barefoot, so I guess that's technically a part of the outfit, if you really think about it, uh, because it wasn't an option before. But you, like, shoot demonic powers at them, and it basically kills any hostile that comes at you, except for robots, of course, because robots aren't humans or everything. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful, please drop a like and comment in the comment box if it was helpful or not. And definitely go ahead and subscribe. There's more Watchdog content, Watchdogs 2 content coming up. I'm going to be doing the No Compromise DLC plus the Human Conditions DLC, even though that one's kind of old. But yeah, thank you all for watching and hope to see you all the next time that I see you. Goodbye.